Hello everybody, welcome back to vlog number seven. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. Uh, today, I'm gonna bring you guys through my entire leg workout and how I've increased my squat in less than two years of working out. I've worked out for 21 months now, 22 months, 22 months now. I've got my squat up to 415 for one and the most of it is 385 for three, but I've lost a little bit of strength since then. But today I'm gonna bring you guys through my heavy squats to every other workout I do. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys do, make sure to have a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'm about to head into the gym. Dude, it's it's 9.30 right now. We're about to just go in the gym. We're gonna be here for a while. All right, so here we are warming up for squats. Today, I want to do heavy squats, so I decided to do three to three. Um, normally my split for squatting is one week I do three sets of three. The next week I do five sets of five. And then maybe the next week I'll do sets of eight, but I don't like going to sets of eight, so normally I just do three and five. But sticking with three sets of three or five sets of five is really nice for strength gaining because you're you're staying low in your percentages. You want to be like in the 85 to 90 percent range when you're squatting uh, heavy heavy weights like this. Of course, you might not always be able to get three sets of what you're doing for squats. That's what that's what I like to do. So this is around 90 percent of my max right here is I'll put on the screen what the actual percentage is but i got three here and my goal was to get two more and then I go over to leg press right after squat this is me doing six and a half plates this is 708 pounds i like doing tempo leg press because for me uh it breaks it just burns a lot better so i take one two three press and it, it ends up being a lot better for me and I end up getting a lot more sore and a lot of strength out of this. And here I'm dead. I'm just trying to get through it. This is full range of motion. This is as far back as I can go. And um, you wanna do three to eight of leg press, of a heavy set you can get eight out of for doing tempo. You don't wanna to go to failure on leg press cause you never wanna like fail on leg press. And this is where you want to burn out. You either want to do split squats or leg extensions. For me, I did leg extensions today because my the machines were taken. So for here, I do five on one leg, five on the other leg until I can't do a single leg. And then I do two legs at once. So you guys will see here, this rep takes a long time or this set takes a long time. And at the end, you even get a spotter at the end. Yeah, that's an option for you if you want to get a spotter at the end of your uh, set. But for me, it worked out a lot better because you get super sore. So for me, I chose 90 pounds, which is really low for me. So I got a lot of reps out of this set. Um, the goal here is just burn out your quads because you already did two quad workouts pretty much. So here you're just trying to finish out the quads. And here we go, Ty over here. Shout out to Ty. He just comes over here just trying to say goodbye to me. And then he goes, you know what? I'm going to step in. And he... He helps me get a few extra reps, you guys will see here. And it ends up working really well. And I end up getting the best out of that set as possible. So right here, you wanna do three sets to failure of this. You can drop down the weight a little bit more if you need to. Um, yeah, I'm dead for that. I'm seriously dead. You guys will feel that the next day for sure. And here, I don't go too hard on hamstrings because uh, my split is, um, I have deadlifts on Friday, so this is a Tuesday for me. And I only do this light workout once a week. And then after that, after that, you normally want to do calf raises. Uh, I normally do the sit down one so that I can do like more explosive. I go one, two, three up, but I ended up skipping calves that day because I went to Cedar Point and that killed me. So this leg, this leg workout that I had was not my greatest session. Uh, because I got I went to Cedar Point and I was still kind of sore from walking around all day so today was that leg day wasn't really my greatest but I plan to have a better leg day next time my goal is to do uh, 355 for five uh, next time I go so if you guys want to stay tuned to that and you guys have not subscribed yet make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting four days a week it's the goal but um, again this is personal so if you guys don't like this workout, you guys can obviously change out what workouts you guys can do. And split squats over 
leg extension or you can even do split squats then leg extension but i would recommend doing leg extension last uh for your quads and then move on to hamstrings and then calves you guys can do more hamstring than me normally i would do rdls if you guys aren't you guys don't deadlift or anything but i'd only do this leg workout once a week and i'm feeling it this is this is uh two days after i recorded this video i'm filming this right now and i'm still sore so um i'm definitely this definitely works out for me and i'm gonna try to hit five plates um by the end of march anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to leave a like subscribe to notifications and if you guys found this video helpful leave a comment and let me know what you guys squat and if you guys want to come back to this video and comment later what your squat is now after trying this leg workout for a couple weeks let me know appreciate you guys watching the very end see you guys next one Trey out